Well, the $1 billion that was raised on Thursday roughly split between $800 million for humanitarian aid and $200 million for Lebanon's security services. Uh, it was well over the expected total. The French president said he was hoping to match the United Nations goal of around $400 million. They said that was needed urgently by the Lebanese people, but the some 70 countries and international organizations that attended the international summit here on Thursday in the French capital managed to pledge one billion dollars to support the Lebanese people of whom hundreds of thousands have been displaced. It was hosted by France uh, which has put itself at the heart of this uh, try to fundraise as much possible for Lebanon and Emmanuel Macron delivered the opening remarks at the start of the uh, summit saying that there must be a lasting ceasefire in Lebanon. He also voiced his disapproval once again for the ongoing Israeli bombing campaign against Hezbollah targets in uh, Lebanon. We also heard from the Lebanese Prime Minister Najib Mikati. He was here on Wednesday for one-on-one -on -one talks with the French president and then he was also one of the key uh, players, of course, on Thursday. And he was saying that Lebanon has not only suffered an immense loss of life, there's also been a major impact on the country's economy, on its infrastructure. And so a lot of this money is for humanitarian aid to support uh, hospitals and roads that need to be rebuilt to make sure children can continue uh, to go to school, for example, make sure there is enough food uh, for children. And we did have that call from Emmanuel Macron for a ceasefire, but for the moment, it does seem that there is no end in sight to the conflict in Lebanon. Ross Cullen, CGTN, Paris.